King Carter, King Carter, King Carter, I buy King Carter, King Carter. I'm always going home for no reason. Hey, what's up? What are you here for, man? You did it, man. What's up? Your own signature shoes. What? Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's exactly what I thought you were going to say when I saw you standing there, bro. Hey, look, man, pretty soon, kids around the world going to be wearing your shoes, bro. Mm. This is awesome. Yo, I, I've been waiting for this day since I was, like, a little youngin', dude. Hey, man, look. Let's go celebrate, my brother. Let's do it. All right. Mm. That's my boy Proud right of there. you, man. He did not know he was going to say that. Please. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy, iPod King Carter here. That little first part right there was a little live commentary, man. I was recording while I was uh, playing the game. I bust some team behind. I, I don't even want to talk about that. Let's talk about my signature shoe, man. Look, I don't know what type of style I'm going for. I'm trying to go for phone posits slash LeBron tens. Don't mind me. I'm not the best creator in the world, but we going to let it rock. You know what I'm saying? So right now I'm just reading off uh, what the dude is telling me, you know, to innovate and to ask any questions if I have them. I'm not worried about the questions, but I just want to show you guys this right here is my first composite of my shoe. Like this right here is just, just a draft, just on how I think it should look. I think so far it looks pretty good. Um, the reason why I have so much of the uh, toe cap, also heel, collar, and lining, and that color is so if I do decide to change it, it would be easy if it's all one color and I could just change it as I go along. But uh, we're going to move on into, you know, changing up a little bit of the colors of the actual base itself. Now, um, I was going for a base where it had blue in it. And the reason why I wanted a blue base was because the shoe itself, I wanted the outline of it to be like, uh, either the, the Pelicans tan gold some people will call it gold um, or the Pelicans red so I was really looking for a base that was gonna sit blue but have like a little bit of white in it and I was just going through all the different uh, patterns the different bases um, what style of it I wanted like such as leather and all of that and I came to the realization that the base too would work perfect for the way I wanted my shoe now you guys will see after i hook it up with base two i'm gonna go down to the patterns and i'm gonna try all the different patterns now the army fatigues i like a lot but i just couldn't get them to work but as soon as i put on base two check out this pattern that i got right here this pattern alone works perfectly because it's the army fatigue but with base two it kind of spreads it out and puts like that little webbed effect on it so you know i was just spinning around the shoe making sure that i liked it make sure that all the different colors and patterns would be you know either usable or if i couldn't use them just go back to what i knew so after looking at all the patterns i decided you know what that little blue uh fatigue right there works perfectly with this shoe so uh we're about to hop into the next clip you know i just wanted to show you guys a, you know a little change in you know ways so right now uh i changed the tongue i changed the tongue to black but i did add some shoestring and took away the white shoestring because so if i want to build a new shoe i probably go in a different color uh scheme with it so right now i'm running black and blue shoelaces and i'm gonna save the shoe now uh i think i like the red bottom you know a lot of people always say you ain't got them red bottoms though well guess what i made my own red bottoms you feel me so uh <laughs> i was the, trying to figure out what type of name i wanted for the shoe and i was thinking about a whole bunch of stupid stuff but i'm mostly known for getting stills you know when i call out cookies everybody goes crazy so i decided to name them the cookie monsters right now after i you know totally fell for a while trying to put in ikc i came to the realization that yo just put what you know man just put them cookies out there so uh the name that i came out with was cookie mon stars um, and the stars is all, in all capitals. You guys will see that once I make it because when I try to put up the Cookie Mon stars, I ran out of space. So they're just named the Cookie Mon stars. You know, if you want to try to recreate them, you can. I have no problem with that. Uh, I'm probably going to build another shoe for when I'm at home because these right here are really more of an away shoe to tell you the truth. If I wanted to make a home shoe, 
what I want you guys to do is put in the comment section on how do you think I should design it do you think I should have like the tan or gold should I make that like white or should I keep the tan make the base of the shoe itself white with the little army fatigue or something you know make, make the shoelaces white make the tongue white you know just give me just give me a little bit of ideas in the comment section you know everything would be greatly appreciated um and in the next clip that i'm gonna roll i'm gonna show you guys the actual finished product of the shoe because i know a lot of people didn't get to see it so you know we're just gonna go into the 2k shoe creator go into my actual shoe itself and check it out you know so um i just this is my first time going into nike id I knew nothing about it, you know, so I just went over to Jordan, went down, and I seen that it, there was an edit button or a customize button. So, you know, I just went all the way down to make sure that my my shoes were there. And look, Cookie Monsters, they're there. So, this right here is the total layout of my uh, sneakers. They look a whole lot better than when they were first in the creator. They look more realistic. They look like something people could actually wear on their feet. Um, the color schemes. Uh, some people might say, hey, this is a little bit too much, you know, the Jordan symbol needs to be a little bit bigger, but maybe if 2K was able to let us put Jordan symbols on the inside of the shoe, or, you know, in certain places where, you know, you can move it over and rotate it with your own, you know, type of editor or something like that, that'd be a whole lot better, but it is what it is. But uh, let's get into the first game with me wearing these Cookie Monsters. I'm about to get up out of here real quick, man. We're going to hop into the second part of this video. Make sure you guys leave a like for my shoe creation, man. Let's do it. <laughs> How's it going, Jack? Just bowling. Pretty much what you'd expect. All right, I can dig that. Glad to hear, man. Hey, yo, I know we've had our moments. But I definitely keep my eye on you, man. You know, it's, it's good to have someone to compare yourself against, you feel me? True that. But you shouldn't have picked someone so much better than you. <laughs> it makes comparing almost impossible. Stop playing, man. Oh, oh. Yo, yo, yo. So what's up? We gonna have a little friendly competition this game or what? All right, I'm down. What you thinking? Whoever gets outscored has to post something super nice about the other dude all over social media. Oh, I like that. I like that. Yo, good luck. You gonna need it. <laughs> Come on, man. This is easy money. Hey, Jack. You better think about what you're gonna say about me, man. All right. All right. First highlight of the game, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all hear that beat build. Y'all know what time it is. I got them MJs on. If I could put that R. Kelly in this video without getting a copyright, I would. But let's fly. Let's go, man. Shout out to Ja Lil Beats for letting me use this beat for this clip, man. You see me calling for the ball, cutting back door. Alo Depot don't know what's going on. He be he gonna get this work though. You best believe that. <laughs> Now, Jackson Ellis and the Phoenix Suns really have it out for me this game. They're really not trying to let me score, so they have the double team running as soon as the game started. I only have four points, and they're already committing to the double team. But there's one thing that they forgot. Tyreek Evans is open a whole lot, and it seems like he has catch and shoot and dead eye because every time somebody is running out for him on defense, he still knows the shot. But check out me going in for the crazy alley-oop. I'm trying to catch every animation that I catch in the park, but they're just not going down, man. They hands in my career are just too crazy you know it, it's just nothing you can do against these guys in my career but why did ryan anderson foul that bum why is he sending him to the line of all people come on now the first quarter is almost over i know you guys are like man he's going through this game fast it's not really much i can do as i pass out a shot right there and nobody does nothing with the ball they rather wait until one second gets off the clock to shoot but it's cool though your man is still cutting to the basket getting these crazy alley-oops i'm just trying to make things look good now check out this play with jackson ellis man who let him go back door we ought to fire Steesman now. He has to be fired. But uh, on defense, we tried to turn up a little bit. But to no avail, Gerald Green still gets the shot off. But your boy is out on the break. Y'all hear the music. Y'all know what time it is. Yeah, that just happened, y'all. Your boy just got... Listen, I jumped over Jackson Ellis. Look at that. Boom! I jumped over Jackson Ellis. Yeah, I cleared him, by the way. Just to let y'all know, I just wanted to show y'all that. But uh, it's three minutes left in the second quarter. And... Gerald Green just seems to always want to get me back. 
Every time that I do something, Gerald Green wants to do something as well. That's crazy, man. There's no reason why we got to go tick for tack, man. Just play your game, homie. But uh, nah, I just wanted to show you guys how I got my 10th assist. It was fairly easy, but it was hard as well. I had to pass it off to my homie Tyreek Evans and set the screen in order for him to get the shot off. How much hard work do I have to do in order to get these points, man? Come on, 2K. It shouldn't be this hard. But, yo, I wanted to leave this clip in here because you guys are going to see the frustration in Jackson Ellis. Now, these are the type of animations that I want to have as well. No, it's not going to be a dunk on Jackson Ellis. It's going to be something even worse. The homie Roberts, really a nobody again for our team, is going to get to the line and Jackson Ellis is going to go off. He's pissed. Look at him. He's mad. But look at this right here. Gerald Green has to restrain him for going after the player. This right here should be a technical foul. This right here should be an ejection. Look at this. This is crazy. But check me out at Fuels to the Flames right here as I block Jackson Ellis' shot. Oh, my God. He was pissed off. Yo, he hated me, man. I was over him all game. The funny thing is we really didn't guard each other much. It would seem like more I was the shooting guard, he was the point guard, or he was the shooting guard, and I was the point guard. But check out the Kia Slam Cam. When Jackson Ellis does stick me, things like that happen. It gets real out here. But uh, nah, man. It's 66 to 82. From the way it looks, they won't come back because I'm just doing stuff like this. Did I just post around Jackson Ellis? I need everybody that's watching this video right now. Go on Twitter, at Jackson Ellis 99. Show them this video clip or screenshot of me posterizing him because I want it to happen. Let's start the laughter. That did just happen. Hashtag, that happened. <laughs> but nah, man. We on defense. Jackson Ellis in a post. And I'm just trying to be a god darn pest. I'm trying to be all up in Jackson Ellis's grill, man. I don't even care about anybody else scoring on the team besides him because we got this bet going on. Now, yo. Check out Jackson Ellis right here, man. He, I don't know what he was doing. He's flat-footed. He doesn't have the right movements. And I'm just blowing by him getting these dunks. Look at me spazzing. I wish they would have showed a frontal look of that play right there, man. That would have been awesome. But uh, we're moving on to the, you know, four-minute mark of the fourth quarter. And Gerald Green is putting on a show. He has 24 points. The light-skinned LeBron is not holding back this game. He's trying everything to get his team back in the game. But check me out putting on a moves. I hit this guy with the same move twice and he fell for it both times but i got the easy layup man <laughs> and i'm gonna tell you right now this was one of those games where i had to laugh the entire time just check out what i do to jackson ellis i turn the burners on immediately and he can't even catch me we both point guards but it looks like he's a little bit uh fatter than i am you know maybe he needs to hit the gym maybe everybody on twitter needs to tell jackson ellis hey man get on that treadmill man because you can't keep up with ikc but uh, the game is over, man. We came out with the win, 130 to 109. I wanted to show a little bit of sportsmanship there by holding on to the ball. I didn't want to rub it in. You know, I didn't want to rub the win in. You know, me and Jackson Ellis, we go way back, a.k.a. I beat him every time I play him. You know, remind him that on Twitter as well. But, yeah, man, it was a great game. Um, I hope you guys like my shoe. You know, I like it, man, just to tell you the truth. I like it. But this is IKC signing out. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. This is Siri. Thank you for watching and be sure to like this video. For more videos from this particular mode, click more videos. If you want to see more content from IKC, click subscribe. Oh, and don't forget to follow IKC on Twitter and to like his Facebook page. This is Siri signing out. Peace.